Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jealousy 4 here, bringing guys more Men and Fifteen Ultimate Team. Today, we're going to be playing game number eight of season 5.2. Now, in this gameplay, it's going to be very different compared to the other ones, guys, because this time we're going to have an opponent repeating the same defensive play over and over compared to the previous gameplay where we had an opponent repeating the same offensive play over and over. But this time, it's going to be on defense. So, what happened this time? This time, we got an opponent blitzing in the corners 24 7 the whole gameplay. And now the only way you can take advantage of that is by throwing some screens, throwing some flat plays, and you'll be able to get like around 5 to 10 yards all at the goddamn time. It's exactly what I did. I got so many yards on offense. It was just insane, especially on one hatback screen. That's actually two hatback screens were insane. So keep your eyes peeled when I'm in offense. It's pretty awesome when I was in offense. So yeah, it's going to be pretty fun to see. So moving on to the gameplay, guys. Uh, my opponent, his main key players was the quarterback, of course, Michael Vick, I believe. Oh, and by the way, guys, his team name is called All Gold. I'm not sure if he's a YouTuber or not, because YouTubers tend to test out players like that. You know, just play with an All Gold team or something. He was doing some YouTube challenge. So, anyways, Morgan Burnett with an interception takes it all the way for a touchdown. Insane safety. He's been one of my base safeties since like the whole time, the longest time. You know, he's been here since season three or season four, I believe. He was one hell of a good pickup, man. I can't. I don't regret picking him up at all. Even though he's not run stuff, he's still doing a hell of a job. I think he does. He does a better job than Trey Palomalo, and he has more than 90 hit power. So this guy can force fumbles like crazy. I like Morgan Burnett. So anyways, I uh, ended up making this guy turn over into my, back into my offense and I tell you guys, he is running that defense over and over again. As you can see, he's running cornerback dog zone. The problem with that defense is that you leave the middle open every time you run down the middle. You can, I can just run an ISO and I can take it like for 10 yards or I can just run a cutback screen and throw it to the flats and I'll be, you know, getting some yards pretty easily. As you can see, that's the biggest flaw about his defense. And he kept calling it over and over again. The good thing about that defense, you cannot run counters or play actions towards the outside. So just watch out when somebody's blitzing in those corners. You can't do anything towards the outside. Just run it down the middle all the time. And there he goes again. I throw in another screen, taking it all the way with Robinson. Nice touchdown by him. And by the way, he's my third string running back. I don't really use him. He's a rising star, by the way, guys. If you guys forgot, um, he came out like a few months ago. I think like a month or two months ago for rising star. And yeah, he was a good pickup and all, but he's not a good starter, though. He doesn't have a lot of carrying, so that's why he's not my starter. But yeah, he's pretty fast. He has like around 94 speed, 95 acceleration. So yeah, we're not having a third down back. And so far, he's been working out pretty good. So anyways, uh, make this guy... Um, I stopped him in the 30. He misses the field goal by an inch. I was like, what the fuck? Good thing I called time out before that play. And as you can see, guys, don't call the play action if the guy's blitzing you with the corners. Watch out with that. I learned my lesson the hard way. I could have counted intercepted right there and taken it all the way, but no. And then I run a screen the next play. Juke Robinson taking it all the way. All the way, burning those feet, taking it over. 40 plus yards touchdown Robinson unbelievable touchdown taking it all the way with the hat back screen I'm telling you guys it's just a great advantage he just keeps calling that defensive play knowing that it's the worst defensive play you can call in all the time he still calls it in like learn your lesson people do not call in plays over and over again if it's not working okay guys that's my tip to you guys do not call in the same play if it's not working so I ended up back on defense 21 0 third quarter this guy has no hope there's no way he's going to stand another offensive drive of mine. So, uh, good thing he threw an interception right there. Luke Keekley intercepts the ball. 21-0. It's game over, man. You just can't do anything. You just can't. Especially with that defense. You're never going to stop me. I can just keep on calling screens all day on you. And I'm just going to score again. So, good thing he quit. Because I, I, I was going to settle down for another touchdown. But I'm like, yeah. I think this is enough about you, you know, wasting my time. So that's it guys, that's my tip to you, do not call in the same play if it's not working, please call in something else or learn more about your playbook. That's like that's pretty much helpful advice to you guys, for, especially for you guys beginners, beginners, you know, you, you really need to learn the playbook before you step into people like this, you know, just do your best to be creative with your plays. So that's it, subscribe for more guys, and also if you guys like the series, if you guys want to see some support, make sure you leave a like on the video. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more.